Interleukin-2 is a, a natural protein that the body produces itself uh, and that is involved in activation of the immune system. They thought about IL interleukin-2, called IL-2, uh, is if you give it in high quantities that you can stimulate the immune system even further against cancer. Already 20 to 30 years ago we found that interleukin-2 could cure a small number of patients with renal cell cancer and melanoma. But the problem was that it's a quite toxic treatment. So then people started looking for markers that would predict which patient might respond to interleukin-2 uh, and which patients would not respond to interleukin-2. That has been very complicated. What this group shows is that if you really select very carefully the tumor itself, look for specific characteristics of the tumor, then you may select patients that have a high chance of responding well to interleukin-2. So if you look at their data, they have a very high chance of responding patients and also a very high chance of patients that respond for a very, very long time. Some of these patients may even be cured. So despite we have a drug that was available already 30 years, we start to understand now how to select our patients to increase the chance that they respond to the treatment. That means that a lot of other patients that have no chance of responding to this treatment uh, will not be offered this drug.